Hey everyone, Corey here. Today we're diving into how to supercharge a Raspberry Pi 5 by installing a WaveShare PCI to M.2 board and pairing it with a speedy Orco 256GB PCIe 3.0 NVMe SSD. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need. Your Raspberry Pi 5, the WaveShare PCI to M.2 board, Type E, and the Orico 256GB NVMe SSD. Don't forget a screwdriver and mounting screws. Step 1. Installing SSD to adapter. First, grab your WaveShare board and the NVMe SSD. Carefully insert the SSD at a slight angle into the M.2 slot, then gently press down. Secure it using the provided screw at the end. Make sure it's snug, but not over tight. Step 2. Attaching adapter to Raspberry Pi 5. Next, let's attach the adapter board to the Raspberry Pi 5. Align the PCIe connector with the PCIe slot on your Pi, then gently press down until it's firmly seated. Secure the adapter using screws to the mounting holes. Step 3. Powering up and checking installation. With everything installed, let's power up the Pi. Once booted, open up the terminal. Type the command, bash, sudo disk L. This will show you the connected drives. Look for your new SSD listed here. Step 4. Formatting and mounting the drive. We need to format our SSD before use. In the terminal, enter, bash, sudo mkfs, ext4 slash dev slash me0 in one. After formatting, let's create a mounting point and mount the SSD. Bash, sudo mkdir slash mnt slash SSD. Pseudo mount slash dev slash me zero n one slash mnt slash SSD. Now check your available storage. Bash DFH. You should see your new 256 gigabytes SSD mounted and ready. Optional, making SSD auto mount on boot. If you'd like the SSD to automatically mount every time your Pi boots up, edit the stab file. Bash sudo nano slash etc slash stab. Add this line at the end. Slash dev slash me zero and one slash mnt slash ssd extension for defaults zero two. Save and exit. That's it. Your Raspberry Pi 5 now has blazing fast storage. Perfect for heavier applications, servers, or just boosting your daily Pi usage. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Until next time, keep tinkering.